Uh, my name is uh, PK. I, I am a futurist. I, I am very excited myself that we have this executive program on innovation and also trying to create a new future. We are undergoing some unprecedented uncertainty and volatility in our business and industries today in the whole world, and that includes Africa and Uganda in particular. We are now required to go through this crisis. We are required to go through this pandemic, focusing on four pillars in corporate Africa, corporate Uganda. Uh, the four pillars are really recovering revenue. That's number one, recover revenue. And number two is rebuild operations. And number three is rethinking the organization. The fourth pillar in this crisis is reinvigorating what we call the agile culture. That's what is going on in the corporate world. Whatever else is going on in the corporate world are lessons that we are picking from this pandemic. Lesson number one is the fact that we need to be humble, that we don't know it all. Uh, COVID and this pandemic has taught us a, a number of lessons. Number one is that planning is very important, but being ready is supreme. The second area where we pick lessons is that humidity is the new smart. We don't know enough. We need, we need to be curious. We need to be open-minded. We need to have a, a very clear sense of uh, risk-taking. So we need to experiment, we need to inquire, we need to discover. So all the time. Why? Because there's a continuous, very dynamic process of engagement going on within this uncertainty and within this uh, uh, vulnerability and also within this period of anxiety. So the corporate world is testing out new frameworks, new models and new strategies to deliver on the four pillars. However, there are some support structures too. The, the first one is the realization that this crisis is giving us a narrow opportunity to reflect, to reset, to reimagine. And that's why we're talking about today the, the emergence of Generation Re. Today, anyone, the innovators of today and the future are looking at the word that I usually call T4. T4 means today, the future, the options, and the actions to be taken. So imagination today is driving the level of creativity and the capacity to create something new. So the issue is recovery. Recovery how? By, as much as possible, embracing the fourth industrial revolution technologies and being able to drive strategy, be able to drive structure and processes as best as we can, including, and more importantly, working with the people and ensuring that people's concerns, preferences are taken care of, especially with the hybrid system. And uh, we, we are going through moments of anxiety, but it's now possible for us to have the courage to drive creativity, initiative, resourcefulness, and positive energy to recover. So this program is going to be very important in driving and creating value in three areas. The very first one is the attitude and mindset to realize that as much as possible, crisis means opportunity. So the attitude, the mindset, to also realize that lockdown does not mean stand still. To also realize really that every time there is a crisis, it's an announcement that something new must be created. Second one is the skills, the skills and knowledge that are required. And lastly is the character of individuals, sense of integrity, the sense of integrity, uh, because that is core, that is the foundation. In the world of innovation, in the world of creativity, one of the best things that this program is going to deliver, number one, is character that recognizes that you need a foundation. So the program is going to address two questions, which I think Jeff Bezos, who is our coach, the Amazon chief, the two questions that he raises every morning in his boardroom, the two questions are, what are we missing? What is our next opportunity? That is the basis of this program. This program is going to empower us with the right attitude for innovation, a new mindset and also sets of skills and knowledge that we need and character to answer the two questions. What are we missing? What is our next opportunity? Now, those who are going to be the delegates coming from different organizations, at the end of this program, you will be equipped with only questions to ask. And the first question is going to be number one. In our organization where I'm coming from, what is the aspiration? What should we look forward to? Where should we be in terms of results 
and relationships. New results, enhanced results, and enhanced conversations. So it's both results and relationships. The second question that we are going away with is the assessment. Uh, where are we ready to go there? Aspiration, where do we want to go? Two, assessment, are we ready to go? In terms of results and relationship. Number three is, do we have the architecture? The architecture is, do we have the means to get there? Number four is, what actions can we take now? What are the actions we need to take to make ourselves capable and to be ready to go there? And finally, number five is advancement. How do we keep growing? How do we keep adopting? How do we keep learning? The program itself is going to create a pool of people. It's going to create what we call a very special talent pool that is going to be generating creative thought through challenging those questions, the biases, number two, focusing on the customer, number three, experimenting, continuous experimentation, number four, empowerment, allowing people to work on themselves, but also building collaboration within the organization because you need the teams in the organization to generate uh, confident uh, innovation and benefits. Thank you very much.